They told me boys don't cry or play with Barbies So my whole life I've tried my hardest To be the man that they wanted me to be Tsukihina Day, God's Universe This universe is like a God's on Earth kind of stuff So the only gods here are Tsukihina The sun god was so gonna kill the moon god his husband had stripped him before the god of gods as entertainment. Entertainment! So he vowed he was gonna kill him in their abode, only to find a letter. I know you're mad, but hear me out. Second honeymoon on earth? P.S. I may or may not turn mortal. <laughs> also, I asked the fates if we could meet at 16, so see you there, my love. And now the sun god was wandering earth with glasses and a deadly glare. Nah, Sugi. It's so weird how you and Hinata keep fighting. It's not me. It's a dumb shrimp always pissing me off. But uh, you sure you don't like him? You kind of keep looking at him. Sukishima so stepped out of his thoughts on the celestial plane and blinked to see Hinata in his sights. No, not him. You still looking for your childhood crush? Suki, you gotta move on. He just rolled his eyes and chastised himself for telling a lie. Not that he can tell Yamaguchi, hey, I'm a god and the childhood friend is actually my runaway husband who's also a god. Yamaguchi wouldn't believe. Wait. Maybe he will. Hey, Yamaguchi, stay over after practice. Yeah, sure. You're confessing or nah? No. How many times? Alright, alright. Gotta go practice, Suki. With that, Yamaguchi left and practice. Practice was short. To a god, it was like seconds wasted. And Yamaguchi did stay behind, last to be in the locker room, while there's the volleyball freak still playing. So, can you forget about everything I have said before? Are you like cutting me off your life? Or No, just pretend everything you know about me is false. Okay? Good. I'm a god, sun god, and I came here on earth for my runaway husband, who is escaping punishment. What? I can prove it, here. K raised his hand, golden marks running down to his open palm and a small ball of light appearing. What the fuck? Hmm? Wait, I thought you were kidding. I'm not. I have to find my husband and pretending to be human is stupid. Right? Yamaguchi and Kei looked at Hinata, then the blonde locked eyes with the shorter. There he is. Shoyu sprinted off running, praying to all his friends above that his lover might spare him a little bit from punishment. Where to, my love? Shoyu sucked in a breath as they both teleported back to where Yams was. What? How? Huh? Gods, we do anything we like. We need privacy. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll go get cags and confess, yeah, so the day gets less crazier, yeah? Yeah. Yamaguchi scurried off with his bag and Kei finally let his husband go. So, my love, I am so, so sorry I tripped you in front of God. <laughs> God even laughed, right? So like all in good fun, right? Right. My beloved moon, whose attitude is opposite of his being, I really, really want to lash out, but... But? Kei just let his lover go and hugged the shorter so, so tight that Shoyo had trouble breathing. The hug loosened after a while, but Kei's hold was still there, head resting on his shoulder. I missed you, brat. <laughs> I miss you too, my love. Shoyo hugged Kei back and kissed his lips. Hey, I got a boyfriend! Yamaguchi had really bad timing. Kei was halfway nipping down Shoyu's throat and Shoyu wasn't even trying to hide his sounds. R right um, I gotta go! Enjoy! Shoyu chuckled at his mortal best friend's look of horror as Yamaguchi dragged him away. Something funny, my love? Well, you've traumatized Kageyama. Didn't like him in the first place. Is that right? Hmm. Well, the sun and moon eclipsed over and over that night in the confines of their own domains on Earth. And I have another angsty one on this too.